Hey guys, welcome back to Best Movies Recap. Today we are going to explain a movie from the year 2018 called Ant-Man and the Wasp. The story takes place after the movie Captain America Civil War, where Scott Lang joins Steve Roger to stop Tony Stark who was trying to kill Bucky Barnes, during the fight Scott got arrested, but then escaped from the prison with Roger's help. However, due to these events, the FBI started a hunt for Hope and Hank, while Lang is placed under house arrest. Without any further delays let's get started. The movie begins with a flashback from the year 1987, as Hank Pym and his wife Janet Van Dyne are set to go on a mission, leaving their young daughter Hope in the care of their housekeeper. As Ant-Man and the Wasp, they shrink themselves to stop a Soviet missile from detonating inside the American territory. But this size wasn't enough to slip between the steel plates, so Janet went subatomic to drop the missile into the ocean, but she is lost inside the quantum realm, and she was presumed dead. However, after Scott Lang went subatomic and managed to return to normal size. Hank tells Hope that there might be a way to bring back Janet, so he decided to rework his old plans regarding the construction of a quantum tunnel. On the other side, Scott has been under house arrest after violating the Sokovia Accords by working with Captain America. He is spending his day with Cassie, who is visiting him one day every week. Scott has a whole area set up with the help of Luis in his house for them to play in, this area also includes a slide that goes out the door. Unfortunately, Scott's foot breaks through the perimeter, and the FBI pays him a visit. Agent Jimmy Wu leads the inspection to make sure Scott isn't doing anything suspicious. Scott explains the situation to Wu who questions him about Hank and Hope, as they too are held responsible for breaching the Sokovia Accords because Scott was using their tech and they are currently on the run from authorities. After that, the FBI leaves and Cassie goes home with Maggie and Paxton. With only three days left under house arrest, Scott does what he can to keep himself occupied. While he was taking a bath he had a flashback of when he was in the quantum realm, then he see a dream where he finds himself as Janet playing hide and seek with a young hope. Terrified, Scott uses a hidden satellite phone to contact Hank, he tells him about the dream he saw and apologizes for his actions, which caused them significant trouble. Later on that day, while Scott was watching TV he is tranquilized by something flying in the room. He then wakes up to find Hope driving him somewhere in a shrunken van. Scott gets terrified because if the FBI realized that, he will be sentenced to 20 years in jail. But Hope lets him know that she took off his ankle bracelet and put it on a giant ant, which is trained to copy all his daily routine. The two arrive at Hank's lab where they show Scott that they have created a tunnel to the quantum realm in the hopes of bringing Janet back. Also it turns out that the initial activation of the tunnel coincides with Scott's vision, and after Scott delineates about seeing Janet's memories, Hank gets assured about Janet being alive inside the quantum realm. Hank and Hope deduce that Scott and Janet are quantumly entangled because of the time he spent in the quantum realm. In order to rescue her, the tunnel needs to remain open for a significant amount of time, which can be accomplished by adding a particular component to the mechanism. So they head to meet with someone who possesses it. Hank shrinks the lab and takes it with him. Not realizing that they are being watched by a transparent figure. The three arrive at a restaurant where Hope goes to a black market operative named Sonny Birch to negotiate a deal for the component, while Scott and Hank monitor the situation from outside in the van. Birch knows Hope as Susan, but he has already figured out her identity by the time she arrives. Birch refuses to give up the component that Hope needs because she refuses to work with him. Hope appears to leave, but just as Birch and his goons start to walk out, they are knocked around by Hope in her wasp suit. She fights them in the restaurant's kitchen and manages to grow a salt shaker to knock out one goon, while also running across knives being thrown at her. In the end, Hope grabs the component and leaves. But on her way out, she is attacked by the figure from the earlier scene, a mysterious character like a ghost able to phase through anything. Scott joins Hope as Ant-Man in a new suit to help her, but the ghost escapes, makes his way to the van and steals the lab from Hank. After that, Scott brings Hope and Hank to hide at the ex-con, the security company run by Luis, with Dave and Kurt as his employees. There, they try to come up with a plan to get the lab back. 
Hank figures that he has to reluctantly seek help from his former S.H.I.E.L.D. colleague and partner in heroics the Professor Bill Foster, with whom Hank had a falling out years ago. Meanwhile, the ghost whose real name is Ava goes to her home and sleeps inside a special chamber to control the phasing. On the other side, Scott, Hope, and Hank go to the University of California to meet with Bill. He argues with his former partner about their differences which eventually led to them splitting up. Scott then sees Wu and his fellow agents outside, thinking they know he's in there. Before they go, Foster tells them that if they modify the diffraction units on one of their old regulators, they can maybe locate the lab. They thank him and quickly leave before Wu meets with Foster, who tells them he hasn't talked to Pym in years. In the van, Hank says they can't use the new Ant-Man suit because it's a work in progress and he got rid of the old regulators, so Scott tells them they can find one in the older suit, which he sends it back in a trophy after the fight in Captain America. They call Luis who tells them that the trophy isn't at the house. Lang remembers that Cassie took it to school that day for show and tell. After that, Ant-Man and the Wasp break into the school and grab the suit. However, Ant-Man's prototype suit glitches, causing him to unwillingly change his size. They then take the suit and escape before they are spotted. After locating the lab, they break in, but the ghost knocks all three of them out and has them tied up. The latter reveals herself to be Ava Starr, the daughter of Hank's former colleague Elias Starr. After getting fired and disgraced by Hank over some disagreement, Elias Starr desperately tried to regain his lost name by doing random quantum experiments, but his own tunnel became unstable. His wife Catherine tried to escape with young Ava, but the little girl ran back for her father. The tunnel caused a huge explosion, killing Elias and Catherine, but Ava survived and her molecules became destabilized, resulting in her phasing. Bill Foster reveals himself to be the unofficial guardian of Ava, he is involved in her plans for capturing the trio. He also reveals that through the years, S.H.I.E.L.D. exploited Ava's powers to further their ulterior motives, provided her with a containment suit to let her control the phasing powers, and used her as a stealth operative. She and Bill now plan to use Janet's quantum energy to help turn Ava normal, even if it might kill Janet. Hank fakes having a heart attack to get Bill to grab a tin of Altoids for his meds, which really contain Hank's trained ants that grow to a large size and help free them, allowing the three to escape and take the lab back. After regrowing the lab and connecting the component with the quantum tunnel, Hank is able to communicate with Janet. Due to being in a state of quantum entanglement with Scott, as shown previously during the shared vision sequence, Janet talks through Scott, almost like she possesses him. She helps stabilize the tunnel and enter the coordinates to locate her, but she warns them that they only have two hours before the quantum realm becomes unstabilized and they won't be able to reach her for another century. At the ex-con security consultant's office, Birch and his goons interrogate Luis, Dave, and Kurt using a truth serum, though the villains insist that's not the truth serum. Luis reveals that Scott is with Hope and Hank in the woods where they set up the lab. However, as they go to leave, Ava appears after having heard this information. She takes out the wheels on Birch's van as she heads to find the heroes herself. Birch then contacts the crooked FBI agent Stoltz and tells him where Lang will be. Stoltz tells Wu, and Luis quickly warns Scott so that he can return home before he is caught escaping his house arrest. Lang then confesses to Hope and Pym, which angers them and prompts them to sever ties with him again. Meanwhile, Cassie goes to see her father, but she only finds the giant ant, at this moment Wu and the FBI team burst in, and Cassie holds them back and provides more time for her father to show up. On the other side, Hank and Hope are arrested by the FBI agents once they shrink the lab. Stoltz grabs it, but he is killed by Ava, who then takes the lab herself. Back at home, Lang is convinced by Cassie to rescue Hope and Pym despite the risks, promising that she'll love him no matter what happens. He then uses the trained ants to help Hope and Hank to break out of the FBI headquarters. The ants guide the three to the lab's location, and Luis joins them as a backup. Hank uses the giant ants to get Bill out so that he can use his old suit to go into the quantum realm and find Janet. The lab is shrunken again, and Luis grabs it. Scott as Ant-Man is attacked by Ava, but he holds her off long enough for Hope and Luis to get away. 
At this moment, Scott flies away on a flying ant to meet up with Hope and Luis at the meeting point, but they are followed by Birch and his men, as well as Ava. Hope shrinks and grows the van to literally throw the goons off, even growing a Hello Kitty Pez dispenser to throw at one of them. Scott grows into the giant man form to stop them, but as Ava intervenes, Hope becomes the wasp to fight her. While Birch takes advantage of the situation to steal the lab and runs to the docks where he boards a ship to get away. But Scott grows again to reach Birch and recover the lab. Luis shows up in another car to meet with them, but Scott gets lightheaded from being so huge, then he falls into the water, and Hope swims down to save him. In the quantum realm, Hank nearly loses his signal, but he finally manages to locate Janet at her coordinates, and they reunite happily. Meanwhile, the lab has grown to its normal size, and Ava and Bill are planning to get Janet's quantum energy. Hank and Janet start to return as Ava and Bill begin the process, which starts to drain Janet. Scott and Hope show up and disable their machine, giving Hank and Janet enough time to come out of the quantum realm. Hope reunites with her mother at last. Janet then sees Ava's problem, and she puts her hands on Ava to stabilize her and stop her phasing. Everyone leaves as the heroes take the lab. Outside, Bill wants to keep protecting Ava, but she tells him they need to split up. However, Bill refuses and takes her with him to start a new life. Outside the lab, Dave and Kurt help Luis incapacitate Birch and his goons before injecting them with truth serum as the cops arrive, leading to their arrest. Jimmy who saw the giant Scott goes to arrest him, but he only finds the Ant-Man suit there, he then rushes to the Lang home and finds him there. Scott's sentence is finally over, and he is a free man once more. The first thing he does is go see his daughter Cassie. In the end, Luis gets a lot of new clients for his business after showing up on TV during the incident. While Hank brings Janet to the beach where they set up a new house that he grows. Meanwhile, Scott shrinks himself, Hope, and Cassie in a car so they can use a laptop as a screen like a drive-in movie. They are then bothered by a large butterfly. In the last scene of the movie, Hank and Janet set up the quantum tunnel in a van on a rooftop with Hope's help so that Scott can enter it to obtain quantum energy to keep helping Ava stabilized. Just as Scott is ready to go back, the others fail to bring him back, and he doesn't hear anyone on the other end of the radio. That's because Hank, Janet, and Hope have all been turned to dust by Thanos, leaving Scott trapped in the quantum realm.